What's going on, everyone? Philly Insider Podcast. I'm Hunter Doyle here. Derek Hall has been placed on the 10-day injured list, as you can see by the title. Cody Clements has been recalled. Obvi- you know, pretty obvious call up there. Left-handed bat can play first base, can move around a good bit. And he had a really good spring. We'll talk about whether that can translate or not. But first off, just talking about Derek Hall. I mean, coming into the season, you're thinking Derek Hall is going to hopefully help replace some of the production while Bryce is out of the lineup. Then he becomes a starting for first baseman with Reese out. And, you know, obviously we'll you know assume that when Hall gets healthy, he'll be the first baseman again. But now he's out. <laughs> like, you know, the injury bug just continues to, you know, haunt this team a good bit early in this season. And, you know, the good thing is Bryce Harper's making a lot of progress. He's taking live uh, ABs today before the game. Like, definitely good to see that. I'm excited for him to come back. It seems like it's going to be sooner rather than later uh, in terms of what the, you know, original outlook was of the All-Star break. But you don't, don't want to assume anything. That's just kind of what it seems like right now. But who knows? Um, the good news is for the injury bug, is that uh, Brandon Marsh is healthy. He is starting today. He's playing center field. He's hitting uh, in the nine hole. And I honestly love him in the nine hole too. I think he's just a guy who turns it over to the top of the order. Um, He's been hitting well so far. And he just makes contact, makes solid contact. He barrels up the baseball a good bit um, and is able to find green grass. Just throw the barrel at the baseball and good things will happen. So love what he's been doing so far. I'm glad he is going to be healthy. Obviously he had that game where he had the two mishaps, one on the base paths, one in center field. But next day he totally redeems himself. And it's a home run that went a long way, too. So good to see that. That being said, with Hall out, Clemens is starting today. He's hitting eighth. He's playing first base. I'm not sure I'd love that. I'd probably rather put Boehm at first and then just put Sosa at third, at least for the time being, right, while Hall is out. I'm not saying that's your long-term solution, but... I don't know. I think that makes a little bit more sense. Clemens did have a really good spring and working with Kevin Long could produce better results. I do think he was kind of an underrated pickup this offseason um, and he can move around a good bit too. You know, he's not probably not just going to play first base. And I think, yeah, again, like I said, he was the obvious call up, but we'll see. Maybe he proves me, you know, not proves me wrong, but maybe he surprises us and does really, really well. And some of that spring does translate over. You know, I'm, I'm excited to see what he can do. Um, and just talking about this lineup right now, Turner, Schwarber, Romuto, Castellanos, Stott, Bohm, Cave, Clemens, Marsh. I wasn't necessarily expecting this to be the home opener lineup. I think that's fair to say for pretty much all of us. But at the same time, I think the top of the order needs to produce a little bit more. You know, guys have been getting on base. Like, I think the, the runs are not a great indicator of how we've been hitting so far. But that being said, they're not a great indicator because we've not... Or the, I guess they are a good indicator because we haven't been hitting with runners in scoring position. And let's be honest, part of that is Christian Pache at the bottom of the order, who's just been pretty much a guaranteed out so far. Um, and, you know, with Marsh healthy, the good news is he won't have to hit as as much, right? You have Cave, Clemens, and Marsh. It's not a great bottom of the order compared to what usually is probably stop bone Marsh. But at the same time, I think Cave and Clemens and Marsh can produce. And Cave is a guy who had has hit the baseball hard still as regular season has come around. I thought maybe that would disappear a little bit um, with less regular reps, but I think it's still been there. You know, I think he's just missing some some hits. He got robbed of a home run, obviously, on opening day. He's had a couple other hits that have gone, I know know for a fact he's had like three or four that have gone 100 plus miles an hour off the bat and have also traveled. I think he's had a couple or like two or three that have traveled 330 feet or more. So he's definitely had some tough breaks. It's crazy that, that those types of hits have been outs for him so far. And, you know, you're talking about two for 12. He's hitting, what, below 200? But if the, a couple of those drop, he's hitting, you know, 250. If one of them drops, he's hitting 250. If a couple more of those drop, he hits, he's, he's hitting 300 or more. So just something to note there. I'm still confident Jake Cave can, you know, find, find some green grass and hopefully that uh, you know, he'll be able to raise his numbers a little bit and some of those, you know, hard hit baseballs will um, drop for hits. But um, also just looking at the top of the lineup too, um, Trey Turner's been getting on base a ton and he's been getting in the scoring position a ton. These guys just need to hit him in a little bit more often, right? Um, hopefully, Schwarbaum can happen when some of the, when Turner is on base, right? And you'd love to get two runs instead of just a solo home run. Um, but shout out Schwarbaum, you know, he's been heating up a little bit um, with some of those home runs, but we'll see. Um, Ramuto, I'd like to see a little more production from him, you know, I'm not super worried about that. I think he's still, you know, still had a good approach at the plate. And then Castellanos, I think has been kind of up and down. We'll see what happens there. I think he's been laying off a good number of pitches compared to like relative to last year, right? But he's been rung up on some really bad calls, which is a shame because he's trying to lay off those pitches and then the umpires are calling strikes on pitches that aren't strikes. So, you know, I'm not trying to make excuses for him, but, you know, hopefully he can pick it up this series and moving forward. Hopefully a little bit of a, re- a revenge series against the Reds. I don't know. I don't know if that's something that's really on his mind. But, hey, former team, sometimes you guys play better against them. And then 
Stat and Boehm is an inter it's interesting to have stat over Boehm. I think the reasoning is probably to mix up righties, lefties, because if you don't, if you have Boehm ahead of Stat, you'd have Real Muto, Castellanos, and Boehm, and that's three righties in a row. But I wouldn't mind if they shook up the order a little bit so that Boehm could hit higher. I mean, I think that would be smart. Um, I know you know you want to put these guys where they're comfortable, and you want to try to find a you know lineup that's going to work the rest of the year. But at the same time, um, I don't know. I just kind of like having Boehm there. Not that I think Stotts had a good approach to the plate for sure. I think he's had some nice hits, but um, I would like to see Boehm moved up a little bit in the lineup. He was moved up there for one game and then went back to normal after that. So we'll see, guys. That's kind of my thoughts on the opening day lineup. Wheeler on the mound. Hopefully Wheeler can turn in a much better performance. I think he's going to. Um, but yeah. I think I think they're going to be able to manage without these injuries because the upcoming stretch isn't as bad as it's been. Um, I mean, the first two games is kind of debatable. Yankees obviously is a tough series. We've got a game there, but you know the Rangers will kind of see if they end up being better. I think they're better than people give them credit for. I don't think we should have gotten swept though. I think we probably should have took two of those games. I mean, at least even if we just took one, I would have felt a little bit better going into this home opener. But early in the season, we'll see what happens. Um, injury bug is obviously not ideal right now, but you know it's part of the game. Um, and hopefully some of these guys can help contribute in their absences. So that's what I got, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Ring the bell. Go Phils. Let's have a good home opener today. Peace out.